we had seen that hydrogen had a characteristic emission as well as absorption spectrum and that spectrum is like a fingerprint or like an iris scan that is absolutely unique to every element okay so if you want to test the presence of any element in say a mineral the ultimate dna test of that is the spectrum of of the atoms that are there in fact the presence of hydrogen in sun was detected by this method awesome right in sun you have hydrogen atom was detected by by this and also that there are helium atoms now what is happening so so somehow it seems that the hydrogen atoms are getting converted into helium and that's how we came to the conclusion that there is nuclear fusion going on there and that is the source of this huge energy that we are receiving right and that seems to be the source of energy of not only the sun but all the stars in our universe okay so which is the most abundant element in whole of the universe the the, the hydrogen you know the the most innocent and the lightest and the most featherweight weight element hydrogen is the most abundant just because it constitutes all the stars all the stars they are using hydrogen as the fuel right okay and then let us come to the to, to the line spectrum to the to the line spectrum of that very to the line spectrum of that very <clears throat> hydrogen atom right okay now let us say what you do you have you have an evacuated chamber okay an evacuated chamber okay so if so you first evacuate it Okay, so, so what we do we first evacuate from here while keeping this shut okay so 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 something like this we evacuate the air and we we after after we have done that after we have done that we fill in a very small amount of hydrogen gas from here okay and reduce the pressure to such level that 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 there are very few hydrogen molecules right so so hydrogen molecules there are two right now if you if you pass an electric discharge through this okay an electric discharge through this through this what happens the the energy in the discharge is so much that first of all it splits these molecules into individual hydrogen atoms okay into individual hydrogen atoms and then so so these these molecules these diatomic molecules they are now gone right they are now gone and in the in their place you have got hydrogen atoms and those hydrogen atoms also get get excited in the sense that they get the energy that means if 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 i if i show you one individual hydrogen atom then then i have got the nucleus which is which is solely one proton and an electron here an electron here and and these these orbits right which are currently vacant right which are currently vacant but what happens this if if this electron gets some energy which is equal to the difference between these and i had shown you that difference in the early videos right so so we know that the energy in the nth 
of it is given by minus 13.6 upon n square. So for n is equal to what was my E1 energy of the electron in this orbit was was minus 13.6 electron volts and E2 straight away reduced to, to, to increase to how much? How much? Minus 3.4. So there, there, is a, there is a difference of 10.2 EV electron volts, okay? 1 EV as we know is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 joules, correct? That is 1 EV, okay? Now, so, so if, you, if you give an energy equal to the difference between E2 and E1 and E2 minus E1 is? is 10.2 electron volts so this electron will no longer be now found here so so it it will vanish from here it will create a vacancy here it, it will not be found here it it will be now be found here correct okay and if you give it some more energy and what was my e3 what is my e3 my e3 is is approximately minus 1.5, right? 13.6 on 9 is, is 1.51. I, I take it as 1.5. And that is equal to 1.9 electron volts. So further, so, so, so what happens? An energy of, of 10 EV, 10.10.2 EV, kicks the electron from here to here. And a further, and a further, 1.5 EV kicks it from second to third. So, so, so this will vanish from here. This will no longer be found here. And you will find it here. And what is it doing while going up the energy ladder? It is actually absorbing the photons. So you will be having an absorption spectrum. Okay. Now, if you, if you, if you, do not energize it any further, okay? It will tend to fall back to the place from where it came. So, so, so it, it took so much amount of energy and, and got, got away, got, got, got to the higher energy levels. If it falls back, if it, if it falls back, what happens? It will, it will emit that much amount of energy. So 1.5 electron volt will be now emitted okay as a as a photon and when it when it falls back this will this will emit an amount of energy so much and that will be emitted in in the form of a photon and and you can find out that frequency right you can find out that frequency what it is so so let us do that exercise it's an interesting thing to do so let us say my my electron my electron went to e3 okay so at e3 it was having an energy of how much of of 1.5 ev and when it fell down no 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 it was having an energy of 1.5 i'm sorry here Th there is a difference of 1.9 right there is a difference of, of 1.5 electron volt is the energy, right? What is the difference between them from E2 to E3? It is 1.9 EV, is it not? So, so this will be 1.9 EV. I am extremely sorry. 1.9 EV. And, and this, this will be, this too will be 1.9 EV. This will be 1.9 EV. I am sorry for the mistake. Okay, so this is 1.9 EV, right? Okay. The energy level is minus 1.5, correct? Now, if it falls down from E3 to E2, E2 has an energy of, of, of minus 3.4. So, E3 is this, E3 is this, E2 is, is E2 is minus 3.4. So, so from a higher to the lower energy, what happens? What happens? The energy, this is a higher energy. This negative sign is a higher energy. Okay. 
a smaller number with a negative sign is higher so 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 e3 this energy energy at this is equal to energy at this plus a photon that you emitted get it plus a photon that you emitted see th this is the when you fall here the energy of the electron is that so and that is lesser than this so what happened to the to the remaining it went out as as a photon right so 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 this is the energy conservation no this is the higher one e3 that this is the lower one and plus h nu so what is e3 e3 is e3 is is minus 1.5 is equal to minus e2 is what minus 3.4 plus h nu i'm trying to find out what is the frequency of the of the photon that you emitted when you fell from third to the second level right so so this became 3.4 minus 1.5 is equal to h nu so, so nu is equal to 3.4 minus minus 1.5 is actually 1.9. Now that is electron volts, correct? So I have to convert it into joules. So 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by divided by h. That is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34, right? Right. Let me do this calculation and, and, and I am doing it through a calculator. Okay. Okay. So it is 1.9 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and, and that divided by 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34. So that gives it, that gives me 4.6 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. Okay okay now if you remember the visible region has got the frequency spectrum from 4 into 10 to the power 14 hertz to 7.5 into 10 to the power 14 hertz right we have done this in the earlier videos so what does it mean does this fall in the visible region? Yes. So what is being emitted will be in the visible region. Okay. It will be visible to you from 3 to 2. Okay. Let us try to find what happens when it falls from 4 to 2. Correct. We can do that. So, so E4 is what? Minus 13.6 divided by, by 16. No? 4 square. Correct? E4 will be that. So that is equal to how much? Point 0.85 EV. Correct? Let us try to find out what happens if if the electron falls from fourth, okay, from the fourth level, from the fourth level directly to the second level. This is what I am trying to find out. Correct? So again I will write the same thing. E4 is equal to E2 plus H nu. Okay? So, so E4 minus E2 is equal to H nu and what is that? E4 is, 
is minus 0.85 and E2 is is minus of of minus of minus 1.5 right so minus minus 1.5 and that is equal to H nu but but this is an electron volts let's not forget this so so in a sense this is not correct right this is yeah e2 is minus 3.2 yes yes this is e3 right i'm sorry so we have we have e2 as as minus 3.2 or 4 3.4 yeah 3.4 so so this is actually 3.4 minus 0.85 and since this is an electron volt that's why it gets multiplied by this so so that is equal to h nu so nu is equal to 3.4 minus 0.85 is is how much 2.55 2.55 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 divided by divided by h which is 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 correct okay now what happens what happens how do I calculate that let us use the calculator so it is 2.55 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 and divided by 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34 so, so that is 6.18 6.18 into 10 to the power 40 hertz okay okay so one is 4.6 into 10 to the power 14 hertz another is 6.18 into 10 to the power 14 hertz are they both in the visible region yes okay they are both in the visible region now that's why it was first the transition from it was first the transition from the higher energy levels to the second energy level that was visible okay when you transit from the third energy level when you transit from the third energy level to the second energy level, you get a line in the visible region. When you transit from the fourth to the second, you again get a line in the visible region. Right? So, so the transition from the higher to the second, not to the first, to the second energy level was the first to be observed. Okay? And that was observed by a fellow called Balmer. Okay? Balmer. So that is called a Balmer series. Okay? It is called a Balmer series. Okay? Yeah? Fine? That's called a Balmer series. So, 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 so that was the first to be observed. The, the first thing to be observed was was the was the Balmer, right? Fine. Now there is a thing called 1 upon lambda that we normally call as wave number this is this is called wave number okay and 
what will be its unit? Per meter. Okay. Okay. You can similarly find out the the transition from E5 to E2, and it will be E5 minus E2 is equal to H nu. And what is E5? It is minus 13.6 divided by 25, right? And and what will that be? That will be point. That will be point. Uh, that will be minus minus point. Point five four. So E five minus E five that is that is minus point five four minus E two E two is 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 minus of three point four is equal to H nu. Let us do that calculation in a hurry. And and this is this is how much 3.4 minus 0.54 that'll be how much that'll be that'll be 2.86 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 upon upon 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34. Let us again try to find out this value. So it is 2.86 into 1.6. 6, 1.6 to the power minus 19, this divided by 6.6 .6 into 10 to the power minus 34, that gives you 6.93, 6.93 into 10 to the power 14. This is again in the visible region, right? So these three, we, we till now got three, three three of them so so the first frequency is 4.6 into 10 to the power 14 then we got 6.6.6.18 so so 6. Point, okay so so this is so many hertz this this is this is the transition from 3 to 2 right this is from 4 to 2, that is 6.18 into 10 to the power 14 hertz, right? And, and that is 5 to 2, so that is, that is, that is, we calculated just now, 6.96, 6.96 into 10 to the power 14 hertz. Now, people did not have a clue as to why it is like that, okay? They, they, they didn't know why it was like that because this was way before the structure of the atom was found out. It was it was in 1800 something that Balmer found this. Okay, but still he kept on trying to fit this into a pattern. This was this was in 1885. It was in 1885, and he was absolutely baffled. Okay, so he just kept on playing with the numbers and, and tried to find out what is there. That, that they are in this pattern, right? And then he found out an amazing thing. So, so this did not give him a clue. So what he did, he found out, so this is new. He found out the corresponding lambda. So, so, so we have, so we have C is equal to, C is equal to new lambda. So one upon lambda is equal to new upon C. Correct? So, so he tried to find out the wave number, new naught, new bar, right? New bar. And when he found out that, so what do we do? I, I, I just divide them by the, I, I divide these quantities by the speed of light. And speed of light is how much? 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second, right? Okay? So you will get 1 upon lambda. Let's see what 1 by lambda values are for this. So, so if I divide, divide, this, this is, this is 6.9996. No, it is actually 
is actually 6.93 okay this is 6.93 okay so let us divide this by 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 3 to the power 8 so so you get you get 2.31 into 10 to the power 6 correct you divide this by by 3 so you get 2.06 into 10 to the power 6 you divide these this by by this so you get 1.553 into 10 to the power 6 now the, these two did not give you a clue as to what was happening okay so so then he had to tinker with this again okay he 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 did this he tried to fit it and, and this seems to be non-linear okay this seems to be a non-linear thing so then he tried to do this he he said that may be 1 by lambda lambda which is nothing but but new bar or the or the wave number he said it's not that easy as, as it seems right now when i when i say it directly he said it is equal to this okay he said if this is 1 by 2 raised to the power 2 2 squared and you put them as this where n is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6 and put a constant here put a constant here whose value is is 109, 109, 6, 7 Hold on. Let me make some space. So, 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 if, if this is, this is, this, if I try to write new bar as, as this multiplied by 109677. Okay, then they fall in line. Okay, now let's check. So, so, so let us do it for n equal to 3. Okay, let's put n equal to 3. So, this becomes 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 9, right, into 109677. So, so, and what is this? 1 upon 4 minus 1 upon 9 is, is, is nothing but but the but the LCM is the product of the two and, and 9 goes here so 9 minus 4 4 goes here right so 109677 and and that gives me this into 5 upon 36 let's try to calculate that right let's try to calculate that so so 109677 into into 5 divided by 36 is equal to is equal to 1.52 it is equal to hold on 109677 into 5 divided by 36 one o nine six double seven into five divided by thirty six is equal to is equal to is equal to and this is in in centimeters okay so so what I am getting is in meters right so so hold on 
they say this is 1 upon lambda per centimeter he said it he said it's in centimeters so what I'll be getting here will be in in meters per meters right this will be per meter so this is 1.552 into 10 to the power 4 10 to the power 4 per meter right understand what if I convert it into centimeters so, so this is nothing but in effect this is nothing but 1.52 into 10 to the power 4 1 upon m what what is 1 meter equal to what's 1 meter equal to one meter is equal to 200 centimeters right So this formula actually tells you that this is in per centimeter, right? This is per centimeter. So this is 1 upon cm and one, 1 centimeter is how much? That is equal to 1 upon 100 meters. Okay, so, so, so I get 1.52 into 10 to the power 4, 4 divided by 1 upon 100 which gives me 1.52 into 10 to the power 6 per meter and this corresponds to this this is this is per meter right okay there they are taking the the the, the lambda in centimeters one upon lambda right this is this is nothing but one upon lambda right and and they have taken lambda in centimeters that's why it is coming as 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 per centimeter right I am taking here my, this is per meter. We have this in per meter, right? So he was proved correct, at least at least for the first one. Let us check it for the second one. So, so what will be new bar? That is equal to 1.09677, 1 upon 4, what if it is the transition is from this was this was for transition from this was for transition from the third to second this this, this corresponds to this okay so this corresponded we saw for third to second transition right transition now let us put let us put this n is equal to 4 so so 1 minus 1 upon 16 okay 1 minus 1 upon 16 and that is equal to 109677 again the same thing there will be a 4 into 16 that is 64 in the denominator 16 minus 4 is 12 I am writing directly this is per centimeter and that is equal to that is equal to how much 109677 into 12 divided by 64 is equal to 2.05 into 10 to the power 4 per centimeter and that becomes equal to 2.056 into 10 to the power 6 per meter and this corresponds to this. Do we see that? Next Next, let us do do another calculation. For, for, for n is equal to for n is equal to, to to 5, right? So this actually corresponds to the 4 to 2 transition, is it not? Th this corresponds to to let me, let me just show this bar here to 4 to 2 transition, right? Okay, how about 5 to 2? So, so it is again the same. So, so, so it is, it is 109677, 1 upon 4. If I put n equal to 5, for, for, for n equal to 5, so, so it is, it is 25 
and and I and I quickly quickly write this as 109677 into 25 minus 4 that is 21 divided by 100 okay and and that that much so it is 109677 into 21 divided by 100 that comes out to be 2.30 into 10 to the power 4 this is per centimeter this will get converted to 2.30 into 10 to the power 6 per meter and which is nothing but this correct you see so just by a hit and trial he was able to 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 give you this and as I go further and try to derive try to derive the total energy of an atom you will actually feel bad that Balmer was the most suited guy to be finding the structure of the atom more than anyone else he just missed it by whiskers okay he just missed it and it went to Rutherford and I'll show you how okay so 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 we, we end this lecture on the note that after learning that Balmer series what we call a Balmer series is is given by new bar all those and, and all others also fell in the same slot okay and that is the brilliance of the man okay that is really the brilliance of the man so new bar is equal to 109677 1 upon 2 square minus 1 upon n square where n is any number greater than 2 n is a natural number so 3 4 5 6 this is called a Barman series and, and this 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 is also given a special name and and that is called Rydberg's constant it is called Rydberg's constant okay and denoted by capital R okay fine we'll now see there are many more series and and almost to infinity so we do not even bother naming them after say three or four four or five and 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 we'll see how it is related directly to the structure of that right